What is going on guys? It is the Phantom Michael bringing you the next episode of our Pokemon Surprise Lock Challenge. Now, I know it has been a wild minute since we have done this series. I wanted to wait till the DLC dropped to finish up the game. Let's do a quick team recap before we get started. Up first we have Lucario, the Mighty, our starter. Special attacking. With the moves Quick Attack, Work Up, or Sphere, and Metal Claw. Then we have the Mighty Mudsdale with Heavy Slam, Earthquake, Double Kick, and Bulldoze. Then we have Q, the little itty bitty, what is that thing called again? The uh, Litwick, that's what it's called, with Hex, Willow, Wisp, Inferno, Shadow Ball. I call myself a Ghost Type Master and can't even remember what Litwick is. Alright, up first, up next, we have Dino with Assurance, Headbutt, Dragon Breath, and Crunch. We have Pokey Russ with Peck, Headbutt, X Scissor, and Swords Dance. We have Lapras with Sing, Life Dew, Sparkling Aurora, and Freeze Dry. Pretty uh, sweet team, if you ask me. So let's go ahead and uh, start a run on with it. Um, where are we supposed to go now? I don't remember. This is the, what, fifth gym? Fifth gym battle? Okay. Oh, Opal, hold on, she says. What do you have to say? I've got a few errands to run in Hammerlock. Care to join me on the journey? Yeah, I'm down. I'm down. Let's go. Let's go, lady. Back in Hammerlock, this is not the next gym leader, though. Oh, yeah, we're going through Route 7, 8 up there to the... Okay, got it. Got it, got it, got it. We're taking on the Ice Gym Leader next. Yeah, Ice Gym Leader, because this is Shield. Okay, cool. Um, Let's just go ahead. Is she going to stop me? Am I going to get stopped? I think I get stopped. Let's just let's go. Let's just go. Don't stop me. Don't stop me, please. Do not stop me. Don't you do it, son of a gun. Okay. Bead, you shouldn't have been a psychopath, and then you wouldn't have gotten in trouble. Oh, let's see what you have to say. Come to gawk at me. Now that I've had my challenge ban taken away from my gym challenger status revoked, can you really afford to waste time like this? Of course I can. Well, I suppose so. You no longer have to worry about catching up with me, after all. I'll have you know, though, I haven't given up. I must become the champion in order to help out the chairman. I will go and ask him to let me rejoin the gym challenge. You know what? I have a gym challenge you can join me. You know, I'm down. Hmm, that boy. Now that's what I call pink. So sincere and straightforward and yet so twisted and misguided. I like it. That's the kind of thing that gives people some depth. All right, Opal. I see you. Time for my gym mission, child. Oh, oh, oh! Okay. Okay. Congratulations, child. What are you doing, Opal? Opal, what are you doing? Miss Opal? What in the world has gotten into you? You were used by Alina, am I right? You worked hard to gather wishing stars for her and only have her throw you away like rubbish once she was done with you. Come with me, child. I might be able to help you out. Of course, it all depends on how much hard work you're willing to put in, too. Are, are you sure? Are you testing me? Very well. I accept. In fact, I plan on making sure you see my full talents and tell me everything you know about the wishing stars. Farewell now, child. You should head to Sir Chester and take... I take it you know how to get to Route 7. Okay. Get out of here, bead. Sick of you. You know what? I haven't changed my outfit at all, but that's okay. That's okay. Shield is my challenge game anyway. Gosh dang it, Sonya. Hey, the badge collecting going well. Yep, yep. Sure is. Sure. Oh, kaboom. Rip. Are you kidding me? I just, uh, by the time you guys watch this, I posted a video of Pokemon Smile. And uh, my teeth never felt cleaner, not gonna lie. So, I'm gonna have to keep that up, man. That was a legit playthrough. It's gonna be a Monday through Friday series on my channel. Just kidding. Just kidding.
Are we about to throw down? I really hope we don't throw down, Hop. I ain't ready. I ain't ready, Hop. I think we do throw down on the bridge. Pretty sure. Does he leave with Corp? No, he leaves with Wulu, I think. Pretty sure. I should be fine. I'll be fine, man. I'm a Pokemon master. Gosh, we haven't done this series in a minute. Alright, Hop. You don't want this gas, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, Hop. You don't want it. Oh, yeah. Trevenant. Rip. Hmm. Do I have a flying type move? Do I have, do I have uh, aerial ice? Do I even get aerial ice? Do I have anything? Rip. Hmm. Litwick, though. Dino, I think, is the best bet. Alright, Dino. Make me proud. There's no way Trevenant gets a nice type move or a fighting type move. We're good. Confuse Ray. You son of a gun. You son of a gun. I believe we can go through. I believe we can do it. Go ahead and crunch this thing and send him to oblivion. You're fast, Dino. You're fast. Oh, and you broke through. What? Son of a gun. Okay. Alright, Dino. That's fine. That's okay. We've seen it coming. No worries. You can do it. You're just not going to punch yourself in the face. Because you're so smart, Dino. Good job. Oh. Oh my goodness, Dino. You're a legend. Absolute legend. Trevenant, get out of town. Get out of town. Who's next? I'm not worried about anything. Heatmore's coming out. Where did you get a Heatmore? What are you doing, Hop? I forgot you had a Heatmore. That's weird. Shiny Heatmore looking any good? Comment down below if Shiny Heatmore looks good. Because uh, I don't remember. Is it blue? If it's blue, that'd be freaking awesome. Not going to lie. We're going to EQ your face in. Oh, you're going to Fire Lash me. All right, well, I resist. Not worried about it. Oh my gosh, but you still got the defense drop. You legend. Alright, EQ. Oko. Mudzell's gonna Oko, no doubt. Sweet. Is this a stamina Mudzell? I don't know. Is this stamina Mudsdale? Hugo to level 41! I think I'm gonna evolve. Cinderace is coming out. You know what? If it ain't broke, don't fix it, so we ain't moving. This is not Labaro Cinderace. This is not Labaro Cinderace, so I ain't worried about it. True power. All right, let's see. Show me what you got, man. You, you threw out another fire type against a, uh, a Dagum ground type, so I don't know what the heck you're thinking. And look at another resistant. Okay. Oh my god, that did a lot of damage. Still gonna Oko, though, because Mudsdale don't play games at all with anybody. Mudsdale is no joke. Good on you, Lapras. Leveling up like that. Snorlax is coming out. We're going to swap back to our starter, uh, the Lucario, on that note. Because Snorlax is a big boy. And uh, Lucario is a champion. So that's the goal here. Alright, let's let's uh, let's go ahead with a massive Aura Sphere right in his throat. That's a big bear, boys. That's a big old bear. Did we, we didn't do it. Sugar Honey Iced Tea. Oh, man. Is Teddy Ursa back in the DLC? Is Teddy Ursa back? I don't know. I've seen someone post something about the uh, Teddy Ursa, Cub Chew, um, the, the whole shebang, the whole little bear gang, you know? And uh, I just did not know. And I, everyone forgets Snorlax is a bear, too. So, I mean, we have four bears, I believe. Stuffle, um... I mean, you can even count, uh, Koala. What? Koala? Kolmoa? I can't remember its freaking name. But it's not in the DLC for sure. I know that for a fact. Alright, Bolton's out here. Dude, Hop, you have a massive weakness to ground types, dude. Like, a massive weakness to ground types. Goodness, you have two fire types, you have an electric type, no flying types. I mean, literally a, a Machop. A Machop with Earthquake would destroy your whole team. Who was his first mom? Trevenant. Oh, Q's evolving. Look at you, Q. Oh my goodness. 
That's what we wanted. Look at Q. Oh, boy, howdy. Boy, howdy. Q Evolved. That's what I'm talking about. Name of the episode, Q Evolved. That's what we're calling this episode. Hop, you got bodied. Go ahead and cry. I'm fine with it. Have you guys started watching Pokemon Journey? If you have not, I will tell you, Mr. Mime on Pokemon Journey is freaking hilarious. I've only watched the first four episodes, I think, or first, no, first, first five episodes. Um, when uh, Mr. Mime comes into the show, it is hilarious. So funny. Oh my gosh. His little, he, he over-exaggerates the whole mime thing, and it's amazing. It's so funny. You have got to watch that um, if you haven't. Um, the first episode was, was decent. You know, it's like a filler episode, not really pertaining, but it just explains how uh, Ash's Pikachu start off as a Pichu, live with some Kangaskhan. So I thought that was pretty interesting. This is a fairy type right now, so it's about to get wrecked. Um, and uh, the second episode, you kind of meet Ash, uh, Ash and Pikachu, completely restarting the journey. He mentions that he knows quite a bit of Pokemon, but you don't actually know if this is the, you know, Ash from Alola come back, or if this is a completely new rendition. Um, it hasn't explained that part yet. Um, we just got the part where Ash meets Pikachu. We did see that, but yeah, it, it beats me if, uh, or if it did, I missed it, I guess. Um, we're gonna go out in the queue with Inferno. We're gonna, we're gonna put in some work on this Vespa Queen. And, uh, anyway, so yeah, you don't really know. But, uh, after that first episode, you know, you kind of meet the, uh, newfound, uh, young man that is in the show as well named Go, G-O-H. And, um, you see how his character is. It's pretty interesting. You missed that cue? What are you doing? That did nothing. Q, you are a legend. I am so sorry that I doubted you. Why do you keep missing, Q? What are you doing? What the heck are you doing, Q? I'm so sick of you. Already. Q, you can do this. I believe in you. Go ahead. Do it. Q, what are you doing? I need to read freaking... I need to read Inferno because I might be wrong at how the heck this move works. It's not an Oko move. I know that for a fact. It's definitely not. Let me let me, let me me check this out. Let me get this info in Q here. Oh, you have the Focus Sash and you have Flash Fire. Okay. Q, Q, let me, let me look at your freaking moves, man. I'm out of Infernos now. Thanks a lot. What does this do? It's all a 50-50. Okay, fine, fine. You know what? You know what? This is what we're going to do. We're going to Willow. Q, hit the Willow. Thank you. Dropping that attack order down. Anyway, back to Pokemon Journeys. Back to Pokemon Journeys. So, then... You got, you know, we meet the Go guy, and then episode uh, three starts off with, you know, Ash and Go are, like, chilling together. Um, Ash, Lugia shows up in town, you know, Ash is back to his regular age. But again, like I said, you have no freaking clue if this is Ash from Alola, you know, with all his past adventures, like, memorized in his brain. No clue. No clue. And uh, anyway, he meets Lugia, and he doesn't make a comment like he remembers Lugia, so I'm assuming this is a brand new Ash. So, just like it was uh, back in the... Um, the Rainbow Warrior movie, where it was a brand new Ash, again, so no clue. So there's been at least three brand new Ashes if this guy's new Ash, too. So, anyway, you see Pokemon from all the other regions in here, at least once. Um, you got definitely Gen 8 Pokemon in Episode 3, for sure. Um, Ash and him become researchers, because they hung out with Lugia. And then, Episode 4 starts off where they go to the Galar region, and they want to look at... Daggum, Gigantamax, Pokemans. So, and then, um, I, I might have skipped episode. I might have skipped an episode in between there. But, um, no, I didn't. I did not skip an episode. So then, uh, episode four, they kind of meet Scorbunny. They meet Scorbunny, um, which is, you know, interesting. And Hop's big whole little bit about his character is that he wants to catch Mew as the first Pokemon. And he meets Score Bunny, so, you know, he's kind of dealing with that in his brain, you know, whether or not he wants to accept Score Bunny or not. Episode 5, you know, you, you get to see a G-Max Pokemon for the first time. Um, so that was pretty interesting. And so uh, Lugia shows up, right? And all these guys are like, man, let's throw down, let's, let's do a raid battle. So they all said, let's do a raid battle, and they all threw their Pokemon out to uh, try to Mollywop a Lugia. So apparently that is a thing. Raid battles are a thing. When you fight big Pokemon, so 
Who knows? Maybe there's some people out there that have some legendaries. Maybe that's how Tamias got his legendaries. Who freaking knows, man? Maybe that's how that guy got Articuno and the birds. No clue. No clue. Um, this shouldn't hurt that bad in my headbutt. Hopefully it doesn't kill. Don't hold claws me, you son of a gun. Anyway. So, setting up. I'm a little worried now. A little bit afraid. Leopard, you know, it... How did you miss? What are you doing? Don't you torment... Oh, you son of a gun. I don't think I can use the same attack. That's what torment does, right? What is this? Dragon Breath, then. Fine. That did some damage. Come on. That's what I'm talking about. Good on you. Dragon Breath actually looks pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Alright, you ain't gonna kill me in one shot. It can't use the same move twice. Headbutt, please hit him in the mouth. That's fine. You can torment me again. Thank you. Right there. Perfect. Perfect. We're gonna use a... Uh... You know what? Let's use a dust ball. Let's do that. Dust ball. Go! Yeah. 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 Alright. Okay, cool. We got the Leopard. In the dust ball. Got the Leopard in the dust ball. We're 16 minutes in. Dragon Pulse. You already know we're learning a Dragon Pulse. Um, I'm gonna get rid of, uh... Whoa. I'm a physical attacker. And I got Pokey Rust. Yo. Um, actually, that's permanent now because of the... Uh, yeah, I got Pokey Rust. Um, dude, maybe I keep... I just get rid of Dragon Breath, I guess? And keep Dragon Pulse because I'm a physical attacker? Okay, cool. Yo, let's do that. Interesting. All right, cool. Dragon Pulse it is. Sweet. Got the Leopard. And we are going to nickname it. We're going to nickname it. Man, we're gonna nickname it, uh, I do, do I do THE Phantom YT? Is that what I do? That is what I do. The Phantom YT, no, shoot. The Phantom YouTube, hopefully people know. Hopefully. Like I said, if you guys are out there, you run into any of my Pokemon, let me know, man, because that's freaking dope, honestly. That's really cool, and I would love to know. Um, we're going to heal Dino. Here's the strat. We're also going to heal you. So we have a flying type coming up, a flying guy coming up. So let's let's hard switch into uh, Lapras. Let's see if Lapras can do anything for us. I haven't used the Lapras yet. Okay, let's get it. Anyway, so Pokemon Journeys, man, overall right now I'm five episodes in, haven't made it to the halfway mark. There's 12 episodes of this part, because uh, it goes by parts, um, so like I said, haven't made it to the halfway mark just yet. Five episodes in, this show's pretty good, um, it's pretty good, it's not like um, super, super amazing, but it's really good, like it's not like Generations, it's not like the mega evolution story with Alan and all them, but it, it's interesting, like I, I like it. Um, art style is kind of like the old, um, kind of mix the sun and moon stuff. So, that's kind of what you're looking at. And it's not terrible. It actually looks decent. Um, so, yeah. I wish they would go back to the X and Y stuff. But, uh, I get, you know, it's expensive. So, that makes sense. That they, you know, trying to save some face. Um... And it's cool, too, I guess, you know, the whole reimagining of Ash. Is this the actual Pokemon uh, Generation 8 anime, though? Not sure. Don't really watch the anime. I didn't watch a single episode of uh, the Sun and Moon anime. So I couldn't tell you. Um, so, yeah, I've watched every episode of Gen 1. Uh, most of Gen 2, I'd probably say. A bit of Gen 3 and a bit of Gen 4. Barely any Gen 5, actually. Um... I think I've watched most of X and Y, but that's about it. That's about it. We beat the Birdman. That was the overall goal of the episode, just if you guys did not know, was to defeat the Birdman. Um, we're going to, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead, we're going to scoop up another encounter, right? And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to wonder trade those Pokemans. And then, is this what we're going to do? Is, is, is this, do you want this? You want this? Let's do it. Is it shiny? It's not shiny. Rip. 
Okay. Let's do it, Golit. I ain't worried about you. Golit, I ain't worried about you. Should I just go ahead? I don't want to kill it in one hit, though. And I feel like that's what I would do. I feel like most of these guys will kill it in one hit. Because Golit's kind of frail. We're just going to throw a ball. See what happens. Golit. Come to me. Come to me, Golit. I Golit, what are you doing? Don't mega punch me. How dare you. How dare you. Don't want to hurt it. Man, that's the freaking problem. I don't have Levitate. Does he have a ground time? I don't know. Uh, I don't want to... I doubt he has a rock type move. I doubt he has a rock type move. Let me check his defenses. He's in the 50s. Should we be fine? I'm doing it. Poke Rust, I believe in you. You can do it. This is what we're doing. Poke Rust is coming out. He's got the iron defensing. That's good news. Good news. I'll take that. Um, which is fine. I got 99 HP. There's no telling what his HP is. Let's, let's go ahead and hit it with a peck. It's probably not going to do anything. Probably should have thought that out before I did that. Heavy Slam. Let's see what this does. Uh, I did quite a bit. Okay, so let's, uh, let's go with a different strategy. Let's go with a different strategy. Let's go and do Lucario. Let's go into Lucario, I guess, is what we're going to do. Because we got to catch this thing. I should have threw a quick ball. What was I doing? Yeah, keep on Iron Defensing. That's what I like to see. Keep on Iron Defensing. That's exactly what I want you to keep doing. So that means this right here shouldn't hurt. There we go. I can I can deal with this. Heavy Slam. What you going to do with that Heavy Slam? Not a dang thing. And you're taking Rocky Helmet damage, son. Okay. Cool. Let's go ahead, and we're just going to throw a great ball. Let's just do that. Because he's going to keep heavy slamming me. He's going to hurt himself more than it's going to hurt me. And we'll just chunk balls until, you know, it's appropriate. You, you, you had to do that. What are you doing? Get in the ball, man. Fine. Take some more damage. If you kill yourself, I will never forgive you. If you kill yourself, I will never forgive you. We got a critical capture. Can we do something with it? Does it matter? It mattered so much. Thank you. Golet, I always wanted you. I'm not going to lie. You have a special place in my heart. And I just am so happy that you decided to cooperate today. Um, apparently, we already had a Golet. But that's okay. Um, um, the Phantom. The Phantom. Whitey. Y T cool. Send him to the box. All right, so let's switch some speeds here, and we're going to surprise trade. Let's go ahead and do it. Boom, unburden, unburden leopard. That's the goal. Okay, can we do it? You goal it, you or not goal it? I don't even know your name. Get away from me. I forgot. I actually have a shiny one of you. So, actually, I have a shiny of your base form. Maybe I should get a shiny of you to complete the whole trio. Hmm. That'd be clutch. Rag and roll. A shiny rag and roll. Check the description for shiny reactions. Can we do it? Can we do it? What if he's shiny? Should I, what if he's shiny? If he's shiny? All right. Let's check. Leopard. Come on. Going to Nina. Oh, my gosh. Nina. Nina. Hit me up, Nina. Galarian Slowpoke. Okay. I believe that. Phlegmon. Phlegmon. I love it. I'm, I'm going to name every Slowpoke I get Phlegmon from now on. Because that is amazing. Did you breed it is the question. Did you breed it? It's own tempo from Germany. So it's Phlegmon. Um, it's not bred. It's probably just caught in the uh, wild area, I suppose. So cool. All right, let's uh, let's send over Golit next, I suppose. Let's send over Golit, I guess. Flegmon. I love it. I love the name. Oh my god. 
Love it. Iron Fisted. Dude, what if that would have been uh, Hidden Ability? I already have an Iron Fist, but there's one ability. Autom What's his Hidden Ability? It's not It's not freaking Iron Fist. It's something else. And I was trying to get me one, but no one wanted to, to give up one. So I had to stick with Iron Defense and just, you know, drop its fi uh, punching moves. Ice Punch, Fire Punch. Does it get Thunder Punch? Not sure. Um, yeah. Can we get something decent would be the strategy here. Something decent. Come on. Come on. Look at that. Look at that beautiful gold. Or, what is that thing called, man? I can't remember the name. Gosh. What is its name? Hmm. You have uh, Raganrola. Is it Boldor? Is that his name? Boldor? Gigalith? Raganrola Boldor Gigalith? Is that what it's called? Dude, I'm checking. I don't care. I'm going to check. What's my what's my Pokemon up front? Lapras will be fine. No, we won't. Lucario, get up there. Toko is in a raid battle. Come on. Can we can we find us a surprise trade, please? Por favor, surprise trade, please. Surprise trade, please. We did it. All right, let's do it. What do we got? What do we got? Hector. Going to Hector. Hector, if you're watching this, welcome to the Phantom Force. You're an elite member because you have... We have a Poplio. Is it Liquid Voice, though? Is it Liquid Voice? Is the question. Is it Liquid Voice? Hector, is it Liquid Voice? I hope it's Liquid Voice. Let's see where it is. Don't let me down, Hector. Don't you let me down. Thanks a lot, Hector. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks a lot. Mm. Level one, though. Oh, I can't even check its freaking stats. Or its uh, IVs. Okay, cool. That's what we're doing. Let's check this. Is it shiny? If it's shiny, it's not shiny. Way to go. Wasting my time, Boldor. It is Boldor. Look at that. I was right. Aha. All right, cool. Whatever. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill it anyway. This is what I think about you, Boldor. Explosion. Normal gym explosion. It's going to happen. Watch. Sturdy. Normal gym explosion. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do it. I deserve it. Oh, iron defense. Okay, waste your turn. That's fine. That's fine. I wonder if Boldor, Gigalith, and that whole line is related to uh, Carbinks. Hmm. And Deontay. What if they are? Yo. Do Sableye eat Boldor in them too? Yo. Good. Good theory. You're welcome. Birdkeeper Toby, that one's for you, man. I doubt you're watching, but in the off chance that you are in a parallel universe, that's for you. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for the Phantom. I'm going to get the heck out of here. If you guys enjoyed this, please smash that like button. Support is always greatly appreciated. Go ahead and check my description. I have some Teespring's coffee mugs in there because I know people like coffee. So do I. Um, I have a link down there as well to my, what is it, kit.co, which has every freaking instrument that I use in these videos so go check that out um if you don't get any of the equipment that i have just go on there follow the amazon stuff because if you buy anything after you click my link i get a little kickback which is a huge help but with that everybody i've been the phantom michael i'm gonna get the heck out of here i will see you guys in the next one